hello guys this is Siva here again welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i personally do my analysis on boom and crash in order to take trade using price action all right so here's what i do i go to the daily time frame right which is the one hour time frame right so here on the one hour time frame as you can see i've already um, identified the trend all right so we are currently in an uptrend right now all right so <clears throat> knowing the trend from the daily time frame that we are in an uptrend right i'll go down to the four hour time frame or i think i might just do the i might just draw the trend line here because you can see here the price is far from the trend line and i want to catch the early movement all right I don't want to wait for long in order to take trades so I'll draw another trend line here that will be close to the, the price that will be close to where price is right now so after drawing the trend like this you go down to the 4 hour time frame in order to have a clearer view of what the market is doing alright so based on the 4 hour time frame you can see how price it right now right so now you can see that currently price is reacting to this right so there is a support and resistance zone here right so knowing that all right so i'll just go down to the one hour time frame so here on the one hour time frame you can see that the current trend here on the one hour time frame is an uptrend all right so here is what i'll do i'm going to draw a counter trend line all right i'll draw a counter trend line so for those of you who don't know what counter trend line is counter trend line are trend line that go against the main trend of the market right these are trend line that go against the main trend of the market so i will just draw something like this and i'll make sure whenever you are drawing whenever you are drawing the trend line make sure it's you are using the tips all right you are using the the tips of the candlestick right the wicks that's what i mean right so after identifying this like this right then i'll go to i'll go to the 30 minute time frame to see how the market is looking from that side right so now now that i've drawn my counter trend line all right and the main the overall trend of the market is an uptrend so i'll be only looking for buy trades right what we are only looking for here is buy opportunities right so here on the 30 minute time frame this is what i'm seeing let me go back to the one hour time frame and see what i can still do there right so here again i'll still put in some trend line because as you can see price is currently far from our trend line and it will take a while so being a scalper i'll make sure i catch the early movements all right that is also an opportunity for you so now here's what i do right here's what i'm gonna do so since i'm following the trend and i only want to be catching and buying trades i only want to be getting buy opportunity right since i only want to be getting buy opportunity right so this is what i think will happen right now this is what i'll be waiting for right sorry this is what i want to do I'll be waiting for price to break this, retest it, and then I'll buy to the next trend line here you are seeing. And if it still break, retest, and then I'll buy again. So that is what I'll be doing. But let me go down to the 15 or 30 minute time frame and see what I can see. I can still do there. Whether I can still find early opportunities, right? But here on the one hour, that is what I will be doing. Right? So here on the 30 minute time frame now, you can see how the market is looking all right so let's go down to the 15 minute time frame and see what's going on all right so it's still the same thing here on the 15 minute time frame all right so we just have to wait for price to break above this give it a retest all right so in order for me to take this entry here is what i will do so i will be marking out the support and resistance zone right so here now what I might do is that I'll first of all put in some uh, trend line and try to confirm if it's a support and resistance zone, right? So here, seeing this, 
seeing this right here this is a support and resistance zone right this is a support and resistance zone because you can see price broke you can see the little retest here and then continue down then now you can see it came here and then it still bounce price so what i can see there i can see a support and resistance zone a horizontal support and resistance zone so let me check back if it's a strong one all right so you can see some reaction here on this line but you know this is not just a line it's a zone but since i can't just draw my zone and push it back to this place i just use line in order to confirm it right but just know it's not a line right so now you can see how price reacted to this it came bounce up broke through it give it a little bounce you can see all those things is showing you that yeah this is a strong support and resistance zone right so this is how to confirm your support and resistance zone in order to like give it that trust so that whenever price come to it again you can like have the confidence to buy from there right so seeing this i'll go back to where price is currently and this is what i'm gonna do right i will not just like buy from this place right now so whenever price breaks above this i'll wait for it to go to this zone and then i'm believing that the zone will bounce it back it will bounce come to this our um, um, trend line again right and you can see it if you check there's a support and resistance zone here again to bounce from it and then break so whenever i see a spike above this that's when i'll take my entry right so based on this right i'll be taking my trade from i'll be using the 50 minute time frame to take my trade right i'll not go down to the five minute time frame anymore i'll be taking my trade based on the 15 minute time frame right so i'll put in a zone in this area now sorry i mistakenly delete the zone again i'm putting a zone. so this is what i'm i'll, I'll be waiting for I'll be waiting for price to either break this the test and then i'll buy to the uh, trend line here the trend line i draw above there right this next trend line and if it did not go according to my prediction i'll put in some support and resistance zone here so whenever price break below it that's when i'll be selling but i don't trade against trend so i'm not looking for any selling option all right so currently what i'm waiting for is just buy opportunities and if it doesn't go i'll wait till whenever price goes my way all right so this is how you do your analysis this is how i personally do my analysis and wait for trade opportunity all right so i hope you guys got some uh, valuable uh, so i hope you guys got some value from this video all right thank you for watching see you guys in the next video silver out